Paul, that ended up being uh, quite a pitcher's duel for the majority of this game. Obviously, just a couple pitches that Lance would like to have back overall, though. How tough is it to see your guys not be able to capitalize? Uh, similar script to yesterday. Um, when your offense uh, is not producing much, um, you know, everything becomes a little bit more critical. Your margin of error on the mounds, smaller. Uh, it's tough to win one nothing games on the road, all those type of things. Um, you know, he was feeling good, and, uh, you know, the triple, obviously, it's a triple spark. If you get one out there to the right center, Goodrum did a nice job. We were still in okay shape, you know, that Iglesias getting hit with the two-seamer and then falling behind Jones there. Um, I thought it was a good matchup to try to get us off the field, and, uh, you know, he cheated on a fastball and he got it. And so, you know, that's... Lose a series is tough when you get the pitching that we did the last couple of days. What did Lance Lynn say to you to, to convince you to let him stick it out there in that inning? Uh, I, w I wanted him to stay. It, it was more, I knew that, uh, you know, his, his finger irritates him pretty much every start you know, as he goes along. And we had talked about it, and he said it was fine. Uh, so after those pitches that he had thrown there in the seventh, I just wanted to make sure that it hadn't worsened and he was good to go. And he, and he wanted a chance to, to get him, and I wanted him to have a chance to get him. And uh, we got beat there. Two days in a row, we're offense with a quick start and then yeah. a little bit of a drought. What, what are you seeing um, after that first time? Is it the pitcher just getting over those first inning jitters at that point? And, and uh, you know, uh, Fulmer can be good. We, we know that. You know, we put one up early, you know, our, our little dynamic duo there with the double single. And, and uh, you know, just. Didn't have a lot of opportunities after that. You know, we had not, not a lot of base runners. You know, Garver got the swing and bunt, and then he got the double later on in the game. And, you know, we had a couple of chances to cash in, but, but just not, not many opportunities. Um, it's just uh, it's one of those things where, you know, we talked about yesterday, guys that you got to find a way to grind. you got to find something. you got to find it in your preparation or in that bat or something that you feel and, and hopefully get going because we know some of these guys that haven't contributed a lot, you know, have the ability to do it. You left the dugout going out to Lynn, convinced you you were going to keep him in there. Yeah, you I had Gill up early in the inning and, and was, I knew Velocity would play down at the bottom if we got into trouble early. Um, obviously, the triple and the sack fly, we had clean bases there with, you know, 8-9 coming up. And, and so I, I felt good about the chances of, of giving him an opportunity to get off the field and hopefully we'd score him a run. But you know, capitalize on a hit batsman and a, and a hitter's count. Performances and uh, uh, it's it's been recurring somewhat. You know we've had a lot of good starts. Uh, rotation has given us plenty of innings and plenty plenty of uh, opportunity to, to find ways to win. And uh, we just haven't backed it up on the other side of the ball. So we do have a couple uh, uh, roster moves to make. Um, Jake Cave is going to be optioned back to Rochester. Um, we all know Joe's situation about going to Cleveland. And then uh, Miguel Sano is going to be optioned uh, down to Fort Myers. We're going to get him down there and uh, give him an opportunity to uh, try to get things back on track. Why Fort Myers? Uh, just overall picture of all the things that he needs to, uh, to do to be the guy that we think he can be. It's, he's, he's an important part of what we feel uh, we will be eventually. He's not there right now. And, you know, we have to take a step backwards here, and then we'll have to determine the steps moving forward. But I, we like our facility. We like our coaches. We like a lot of things about there that we can t control a little bit more.